for many, the Northern Lights, it is a bucket list must. You want to catch them at some point in your lifetime, but actually seeing them can be a challenge. Now, the colder months are typically the best time to see the Aurora Borealis, but the opportunities will only get better in the near future. And there's a group in Michigan that's going to help you find them. It's really surreal to experience it. It almost gives you an electric feeling as you watch it. Like an artist painting the night sky with strokes of green, red, and pink, the Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, is known for its dazzling displays. But there's a lot of science and chance that goes into catching the show of a lifetime. There's something about the Aurora that is very mysterious and magical and almost mystical. That's why Melissa F. Kalen started the Facebook group Michigan Aurora Chasers, the community that helps users chase down the Northern Lights in real time. In the Michigan Aurora Chasers, we really pride ourselves on providing a warm, friendly environment and making it accessible and helping people who are just starting out to see the Northern Lights. Starting the group nearly two years ago, membership has already grown to nearly 60,000 people. My mind is just blown. I had no idea that it would, it would be this huge. And if you want to see the lights for yourself and it's your first time, you're going to need the help. One of the most common answers to a question about the Aurora is it depends. Um, will the Aurora be out tonight? Well, it depends. Uh, what time will they be out? It depends. Will I be able to see the colors? It depends. We have lots of experts and lots of members all over the state, even in the Upper Peninsula, who will share live alerts and tell you exactly what they're seeing at exactly what time and exactly what location. Basically, we have charged particles that come at us from the sun and they interact with certain compounds, certain molecules in our atmosphere, and that energizes them and that creates those lights that we see. Forewarned meteorologist Paul Gross always has his eye on Aurora, and he says now may be the best time to get in on the hunt. This is the time to get excited about that, yes. As the sun goes through a 22-year cycle, so half of it is a minimum where there's less activity, half of it is a maximum where there's more activity. So we are right now approaching the maximum peak where there's more solar activity happening. More activity means better chances of seeing the Northern Lights. We are currently headed towards solar maximum in 2025, which means that the Aurora is going to be more powerful, more frequent, and it's going to keep ramping up that activity until 2025 and then maybe even beyond that. So if you're looking to scratch the Northern Lights off of your bucket list, Melissa also has some advice for first time chasers. Go as far north as possible. Find a dark location if you can that's far away from light pollution. The more adjusted your eyes are to the dark, the more you're going to see with the aurora, whether it's movement or color. Uh, we really need that night vision to help us out in the dark. I recommend spending at least three hours outside in the dark. And when it comes to capturing the beauty, you don't need to be a professional photographer. Let me tell you what, our phones have come a long way when it comes to low light photography and what they're able to capture. You see those photos? Melissa says that she was able to take those pictures with her iPhone during a trip to Alaska. And by the way, you could read more of Melissa's tips in a book just published this week, in fact, called Below the 45th Parallel, The Beginner's Guide to Chasing the Aurora in the Great Lakes Region. And you can find it right now on Amazon.